In the wake of its collapse, ancient Rome stands out for its brilliant engineering and advanced technology. The Romans, with their innovative tactics, left an enduring mark on the ancient world. They not only built hundreds of roads covering thousands of miles, but also maintained a water supply system that catered to millions of people, showcasing a technological prowess ahead of its time. Now, let's delve into five ways Roman technology was remarkably ahead of its time. The famous saying held true during the peak of the Roman Empire, where an impressive 50,000 miles of roads radiated from the capital. Romans employed diverse engineering techniques to survey, clear, and level land for direct paths between the cities. Tunnels, bridges, and pedestrian walkways adorned these roads, facilitating swift travel for military personnel and citizens alike. Directional signage made navigation easy, fostering efficient trade and communication. The extensive Roman road network not only aided in conquest, but also laid the foundation for many modern European roads, attesting to the enduring impact of Roman engineering. The Romans were pioneers in transforming the concept of running water through their ingenious aqueducts. In Rome, 11 aqueducts ensured a steady water supply for the populace, not only supporting a vast population, but also fostering public hygiene and sanitation. These aqueducts were no simple feats. They were meticulously designed to approach the city at a calculated gradient. Some stretched up to an impressive 60 miles, demanding precision regardless of the challenging terrain. Roman engineers overcame this by carving tunnels through mountains in elevated areas and constructing stone walls to guide the pipes through lower lands. Upon reaching the city, the water flowed into various storage tanks, serving citizens with drinking water, providing for public baths, and even catering to the affluent with private water supplies. The renowned Trevi Fountain in Rome stands as a testament to this ancient water engineering, drawing from one of the meticulously restored aqueducts of the bygone city. In the face of war's perils, ancient Roman soldiers often outlived their civilian counterparts, thanks to groundbreaking advances in battlefield medicine. Roman field doctors played a pivotal role in enhancing the sanitation of military camps and conducted thorough physical examinations for new recruits. The field surgeons of Rome were at the forefront of medical innovation, employing arterial surgical clamps and tourniquets to mitigate blood loss from wounds sustained in battle. Surprisingly, the battlefield itself served as a training ground for surgeons, providing them with unparalleled experience. The military doctors of ancient Rome emerged as some of the most skilled practitioners of their era, showcasing a level of expertise that set new standards in the practice of medicine. While arches had been around for millennia, ancient Rome elevated their construction to unprecedented levels, utilizing them in the creation of colosseums, aqueducts, bridges, and various other structures. Roman engineers introduced a groundbreaking approach by constructing wooden frames in the arch shape and then carefully molding the stonework around this framework. The pivotal stone at the arch's summit, known as the keystone, held special significance. Once the keystone was in place, the wooden frame, serving its purpose, was removed. The weight distribution mechanism, with the keystone at its core, exerted pressure on the surrounding stone wedges, forming a robust architectural tool. This ingenious use of arches became a hallmark of Roman architecture, contributing to the strength and aesthetic grandeur of their buildings and monuments. The endurance of Roman concrete stands as a testament to its remarkable longevity. Through the ingenious combination of lime and volcanic rock, the Romans crafted a magnificent mortar that continues to endure thousands of years later. Roman concrete marked a revolutionary leap in ancient architecture for several compelling reasons. Firstly, its inherent flexibility allowed it to assume the shape of the molds into which it was poured, facilitating versatile designs. Second, 
The process of pouring concrete into molds required less skill compared to the intricate art of cutting stone for building foundations, rendering concrete a more cost-effective option. Lastly, the strength and efficiency of concrete surpassed previous methods employed in the ancient world, underscoring its pivotal role in transforming the landscape of construction. The legacy of Roman concrete endures not just in historical remnants, but in the very foundations of modern construction practices.